Hello, community! Let's talk about Lily, our brand new AI in global management. So here we are, August 16, 2023, and here we have Lily, our generative AI tool. It's a researcher, a time saver, an inspiration, and it has superpowers. Isn't this great? What it does, it is that it aggregates all of the corporate knowledge and all of the corporate capability in one place for client interaction. It accesses the entire body of knowledge, driving new levels of productivity. But what is it? Well, of course, it is a generative AI tool. It is powered by our classical LLMs, has access to a vast knowledge base, all client data, and the goal is to be more productive, efficient, and creative. And isn't this great? So here we are, enthusiastic. Lily, our new AI, reads every report of the company, every business email ever sent, every presentation ever made, every brainstorming session that happened on the teams, every strategic guideline that was published, every mistake and what we learned from it report, every customer communication, every client complaint, every response of the company, every industrial portfolio and the future developments for clients, every reorientation of companies and every industry outlook of all the work done here for your clients. And finally, we entered a production phase. Now Lily becomes operational and Lily is here great. It helps every staff of the company to write emails. It helps to write reports. It helps to perform research on all similar cases. It helps to learn from internal documents. It helps to prepare and present even their presentations. It helps to communicate with clients. It helps to analyze options. It helps to increase the productivity. It helps to be the whole company to be more efficient and to be more cost effective. And then in about, I don't know, six to 12 months time, we will enter phase three, where Lily will write all the emails of the company, write all the reports, performs all the research, prepares all the presentation, communicates 360 degree with clients, analyzes all the options to increase productivity on a project level, on a group level, on a department level, and on a corporate level. And it will optimize the corporate efficiency and the human resources. So if you look at this phase one, here we have, we have only Lily learning, Lily augmenting, and Lily being productive. This is here our employee level. Let's say you have about 40,000 employees globally. And you say, great, and what is the green stuff? Now, the green stuff is the amount of human work that the consultants do. And you say, hey, that's great. So, but, but wait a minute. When here Lily is talking about cost efficiencies, we have a ratio of 100 to 1 between the management level and the employee level, just regarding the salary. So what about we apply here, Lily? Lily learns now the management level. We have to phase one. So Lily reads every management report of the company, any management email ever sent, any, any corporate communication, every management presentation ever made, internally, externally, every management brainstorming session, every management strategic glided line for the further development of the company. And now in phase two, Lily augments now the management level. Lily augments the human management, augments the human writing here the management reports, augments the human in their decision making, augments the human with presentation about their decision, augments the human with management brainstorming, cost efficient procedures to be introduced, and so on. And finally, the productive. Lily performs now the management level. Lily focuses here on management decision to improve profitability, increase efficiency, analyze competitors' AI system, maybe even communicates with other corporate AI system here for market segmentation, for further specialization, for customer allocation. So this is here now the management level. And you're not going to believe it. On the management level too, we have Phase one, phase two, and phase three. And here Lily increases gradually, and isn't that great? And if you ask now, hey, what is the green bar? You know that it is the management, the human labor. And maybe you look at it on the cost side, and it's the costs, or employment. 
So here we have here a beautiful, great company where we have optimized now the employee and Lily and the management need for humans and Lily. And you say, oh, gee, we are lucky because this specific company is a private company. So this is great. So they will be, the leader will be responsible. They will think about, about their reputation. They think about their staff and the responsibility they have to give jobs to them. Well, you see, in the sector, there might be competitors. And let's say here there's another company. And maybe this competitor that is operating in the same industrial sector, in the same consultancy sector, or on the same continent, it's a publicly traded companies. So they issue shares available for the general public to buy and to sell. And this competitor now has the same options and they have their specific corporate AI system. Maybe it's not called Lily, maybe it's called Donald, or maybe it's called Albert, whatever it is. But the system is self-similar. And you know what? In the marketplace, they will compete on price. And if these publicly traded companies decides to lower its cost to become more competitive, maybe on price or maybe on other factors, this increases the pressure here on our private company to continue to implement AI automation. Let's have a look at this. Whenever I use some text that has been generated by Microsoft AI or Google AI system, I write here AI generated text so you know what I write and what an AI system has ideas. So let's look here at Microsoft AI. And I said, imagine you are a shareholder of a consultancy company. What are your goals as a shareholder? Yeah, capital appreciation. So you want to see the value of your shares increase over time. Or you have the goal of dividend income. You prioritize a dividend as an income, a steady stream of cash flow from your investments. You can have a diverse, risk-reduced investment portfolio. You can say, I'm in for a long-term growth or short-term growth. I will accept short-term volatility if there's some fluctuation in the human workforce. And I ask, hey, would a reduction in human labor and the human labor cost in a corporation drive the profitability of a company? And Microsoft AI comes back, and this is the current view for our current AI system. And they will evolve. It is just a snapshot in time, mid of August 2023. What does the AI think about it? Now, a reduction in human labor costs can potentially drive the profitability of a company, but the impact of profitability depends on various factors. Here is now the pro and the cons. Now, on the pro side, a direct reduction in wages and benefits can lead to immediate cost savings, which, as the AI argues, if revenues remain constant, if Lily is able to perform at minimum the same level of job as humans, the company can increase its profitability, which is great for shareholders. Yeah, if the labor costs can make lower labor costs can make a company products or services more price competitive. Ah, here we are, potentially leading to an increased market share and revenue. This is what a shareholder in a company wants can provide a company with more flexibility to adjust to market conditions, especially if you have here a cyclical demand, an up and down, maybe some fluctuation that go with the year or some other specific factors. So reduced human labor can have positive impact of the profitability of a publicly traded company. And as a shareholder, you might say, this is the way we should go because I want to maximize my investment my return on investment. Now, there are also maybe negative impacts, and Microsoft AI tells us here, well, you know, it might affect the employee morale if you reduce the human labor cost. But <laughs> as you see in phase three, we hardly have any human labors. So the morale of the remaining humans, I don't think this will be the main topic. Reputation. 
could be that exploiting workers with lower wages might be a problem for the reputation of the company. But we're not exploiting workers with lower wages. We just have AI automation. Like in the second industrial revolution with steam machines. So exploiting workers? No, we don't have any more the workers. What about peak demand period where we need suddenly more workforce? Well, since we are hosting our AI system or the corporate uh, AI is hosted on a Microsoft cloud platform or a competitor's cloud platform, it is easy. We just buy more resources from Microsoft and we can have here no problem with peak demand. Now, innovation is interesting because here the AI argues that it might hinder the company's ability to innovate and adapt to changing market conditions. But you know what? Luckily, the global cloud providers are providing an offering and you can buy these modules here where they show you the latest innovative methods how to improve this. And, and this is maybe something more interesting here, it may reduce the consumer purchasing power, leading to a decreased demand for products and services. Hey, but luckily, we are here in a global management consultants sector, so we are not operating with individuals and reduce here the consumer purchasing power, but our clients are companies, corporations, businesses, and they will need to further adapt in their sector, in their business to AI automation. So we will just generate more market. And that you think I'm not just focusing here on Microsoft AI, here we have another AI generated text that maybe you know here that we are talking about BART. And I asked the exact same question to BART because I thought maybe the different AI system has a different idea. But the answer is, hey, it is likely that the profitability of a consultancy company would go up if shareholder voted for more and more AI automation to reduce human labor costs. Because, hey, we are in an American society. And as an American investor, or maybe as an investor sitting in Europe buying American shares, I want here the optimum performance of my investment. So this is because AI automation can help to improve efficiency and productivity of the company I bought shares of, which can lead to lower costs and higher profit. Hey, and if you are a shareholder, the whole American system is built on something like this. AI automation can be used to automate tasks such as data entry, data research, data analysis, can help to improve accuracy and consistency of work, can lead to cost savings. There are some challenges, says Bart. It can lead to job losses if human employees are replaced by machines. It is important to ensure that AI automation is used in a responsible and ethical manner. Now, a question to you, corporate America, to corporate America shareholder. What do you care more about? Your profit? Your financial rewards? Or that you are investing in an ethical manner? Surprise me. So, the decision of whether or not to implement automation is a complex one. However, if done correctly, it can be a very efficient, effective way to improve the profitability of a consultancy company. And even if you are not a public traded company, you are operating in a sector with publicly traded companies. So you will have competition. The extent to which AI automation can increase profitability will depend on the task and automated, yes, we'll need to invest in the development of AI automation. Hey, we're on August 16, and we just found that Lily is operational in our global management corporation. What a investment already done. We'll also need to have a plan for managing the potential impact of AI automation on its employees. Yes, of course it has. You can be sure. The company has a plan. So I think for today, this ends our short summary on what our current AI systems, Microsoft and Google, think about profitability and the current AI induced trends for our corporate, business, economic profitability 
And we had a look at this on an individual and on a corporate level. Maybe some provocative thoughts, but I think these management decisions are already taken, are already decided upon in global corporations. So maybe you should inform yourself too.